Hello, I'm Joop Schmidt. This is the glow plug relay for a 1980 240D Mercedes-Benz. And what is supposed to happen is that this relay there is supposed to pull in and stay pulled in until it senses that the uh, that the uh, glow plugs have warmed up enough. Now this is what it actually does. Let me turn on the key and it only does that click once. All right, you can see the, the camera flickering just because the radio, there seems to be some radio interference or it's from my light. Anyhow, um, this unit has failed and it, it needs to activate that, it needs to activate that relay um, and deactivate that one, which will turn on the glow light over there. So what I've done is I have soldered on another switch. Now bear in mind that all the current does not go through this relay over here. All I have done is to bridge this relay, this yellow one, with a switch over here in the dash. So you can't see it very well, but there it is. So every time I flip that switch when the car is on, you can... Oh, when it's turned on, let me just turn it on. Once the car is turned on, you can flip that switch and it will activate the, the glow plugs. So now it's a manual glow plug system. I didn't need to... Um, I didn't need to buy a whole kit for that because this is still here and I could use this. And now the glow plugs work again. Isn't that great? I love it. Keep well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. In hindsight, when looking at the video again and thinking that day when I did that fix on this relay, I thought, well, you know, what can go on that relay? It's a bunch of transistors, resistors and capacitors. And because it just clicked over when you turned it on, that kind of shows that it's not building up, let's say, a memory or, or, or a voltage in the capacitors. And on these old cars, mostly the capacitors fail. They fail in the clock as well. I'll, I'll make a video sometime of that. But if this, this and this capacitor is replaced, then this relay should work fine again because the transistors and the real resistors really don't degrade, but these three capacitors do. So if you have one of these, try replace these capacitors uh, with uh, equivalent ones and this relay should work fine again. Keep well, bye-bye.